Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what's going on, guys? We're having to do another rank game. Another rank game today. I have the same team. Dude, right there, that question where it says, do you want to show your opponent your team information? What do you guys click? Do you guys click yes or no? Sometimes I click no. Sometimes I, click, I don't want them to see what I have, but... At the same time, does it really matter? So that's why that's why I started doing yes. 20 BP, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm in the Great Ball League. All right. Let's hop into this game, ladies and gentlemen. Searching for an opposing trainer. How are you guys doing today? As you can see, I'm still wearing the same clothes as I have the last two or three or four or five or six, however many videos I record tonight. And I've said this 100 times, I'm going to say it again. Sorry that I just kind of clapped. It wasn't a full clap. I'm sorry I clapped near the microphone. But I record a lot of videos in one sitting because when my wife's home, I don't play games. What the heck is this team? Wow. I don't know what this team is, so I don't know what it's going to go for. But I have a feeling that that Cliff Fable knows follow me and it's going to go for some kind of shenanigans. We're gonna, I think we're going to go with our classic lead, Wismaka and Grimmsnarl. But does Grimstar really... What does Grimstar do for us? Rotom Heat is really good for us here. Definitely was Makat. I feel like I want Rotom in the back, though, because I don't know what he's doing. Now I want Rotom in the front. And then... Corviknight. Ooh, Greshadon or Grimstar? You know, I am going to do Grim Snarl lead. Not Rotom. Rotom's going to be in the back. And then Corviknight or Gastrodon? Gastrodon would be good for Gyarados and Raichu, but I know that Gyarados can learn Power Whip, which is super lame. We're going to go for the Gastrodon just because it's a. Well, Corviknight's also a bulky boy. The thing is, Corviknight is really. Corviknight can help me, though, with that Clefable. So we're going to go for Corviknight. Well, let's, let's just see what we come up with here. I am literally the worst at that screen. The picking your team, especially picking your two leads, I'm the absolute worst at it. So, it's neither here nor there. That's why I'm playing these, though, so I can get better at all of this. Clefable and Steelix. Huh. Now... Steelix is just steel type. He's not steel ground, right? He is steel ground. And you're a fairy. So we're going to definitely Tailwind. And what exactly are you going for here, Clefable? I didn't mean to punch the mic like that. We're just going to Thunder Wave the Clefable. I don't really know what he could go for here. I, I don't know what Steelix can do. I don't know what he's capable of. I know Clefable's a bulky boy. In prison. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what in prison does. See any moves its targets. Dang it. I didn't. I couldn't read that. Wisma can't avoid it. Rock on, dude. Thank you, Wisma can't. All right. Well, we're going to switch into Corviknight here. Or, no, we're going to switch into Rotom here. And then we are going to reflect. Oh, that's what in prison does. So can I not do... What is it? Can you use it sealed protect? So it just seals the top move? I don't really want a white screen. So I guess I'll just play rough? No, that's lame. So I can do... I guess I'm just going to go for the white screen because I don't want to switch. No, I am going to switch. Let's we'll switch to Corbin. Let's we'll do a double... I don't want to double switch. We're going to get the white screen up. Maybe maybe I might need it later. I don't, I don't understand in prison. I don't want to double switch though because I don't want to do nothing this turn. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. I just, I literally don't understand. Like, do I need to look up what in prison does? The fable moves in prison. What does this move do? No foe can use any moves known by the user. So just because you know Reflect, I can't use Reflect? Or because Reflect is on your set, I can't use Reflect? 
Because, wow, that's lame. So you're going to go for the Grimstone and definitely kill him. Oh, wait, duh, you thought it was Winston caught there. I fell well, dude. Ha! He's wasting a turn to Dynamax. Well, I guess not a waste because you got your defense boost. Huh, Imprisoned is a weird, weird move. I like it. So we're obviously going to Dynamax back, right? And then we'll switch here to Corvin Knight. We're going to switch to Corvin Knight because I gave my Corvin Knight Iron Head. It used to know protect in that slot, but I thought, and Cody, Cody once again, Tig helped me out here, said that I definitely need an Iron move for Fairy Types because Fairy Types is my glaring weakness on this team until... I gave my Corvin Knight Iron Head, and now I'm good. Another thing I didn't know before adding Iron Head that I do know now is that Iron Head has a chance to flinch, which is sick, nasty. So this this guy should be terribly, terribly scared right now. But, I mean, he is still ground, so I guess he's not that terribly scared. And he max guarded. That's okay, though, because now you've used two moves of Dynamax, and you didn't get anything out of it. And Clefable is paralyzed and cannot move. This is going so perfect. Do adding Thunder Wave... To my Grim Snarl was a beast idea. Now here's what I do. Do I Iron Head or do I just bulk up in his face? I think I bulk up in his face. I'm going to bulk up in his face. Because what does he have to hit me? I don't think he has anything that can hit me. I don't know what Clefable can learn though is my problem. I feel like Steelix can't learn anything too detrimental to me. Because like what am I like weak to is... Also, you know honestly I kind of thought he was going to switch out. He takes it though. Lives. Okay. Lives the hit. This is your last move of Dynamax. What do you do with it? Sunny day though. So things are about to get ugly for you. I bulk up, of course. I'm a baller shot caller. Cafable is paralyzed again, dude. Let's go. I have Levitate. This guy doesn't even know. Guys, don't even bother watching the rest of this video. I won. No, I'm kidding. Please watch the rest. I'm seriously sorry. Watch the rest. But holy crap, did I, did I win? I'm going to bulk up again. So just in case he doesn't forfeit, I can just do it in his face and mouth. He doesn't forfeit. What a play, dude. What a baller play. Goodbye, Steelix. I mean, I guess he doesn't. I guess he shouldn't bulk up. I mean, he does arc. Uh... Forfeit. He does still have three mons, right? Because I only took out the Steelix. Gravity. What does that do? Gravity intensified. Rotom fell from the sky. Oh. So that takes away my Levitate and my Fla... Dang, dude. Clefable's a gangster. Oh, dude. That's so crazy. He was trying to use gravity so then he could do Max Quilk against me. So he's not dumb. He just tried and it didn't work. Holy crap, dude. What a gangster. What a super gangster. Oh my goodness, this poor Clefable, dude. Oh, dude. Thunder Wave is too nasty. Uh, even while eating a Berry Volt Switch got you, Gyarados. Oh, I created. I created. Well, what were you going to do, though? In all honesty, Gyarados, sunny day. Or not sunny day. But, you know what I'm saying? The sun's out. What were you going to do there? We're going to go for the Grimstar so we can Thunder Wave whatever comes out next. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I freaking love this team. I was getting beat up so hard on Showdown. But right now, dude, I guess I'm just playing against more people on my level. I can't believe that thing. Like, I just thought I was going to do way more damage. Wow, dude. This guy does not have it in his favor. Glaceon. We're going to Thunder Wave you, Glaceon. And then we're going to Iron Head you, Clefable, and you will die. You will be dead. My tail went petered out, didn't it, a while ago. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Whatever. We're good. What's the worst you could do in this turn? He's going to probably Ice Beam my Corviknight with Glaceon. Well played on the follow me. Iron Head was going to you, Clefable. I will be following you with that for show. Poison Clefable fainted. Adios, amigos. Now, how long does gravity work for? I should have checked that. Shadow Ball, huh? I'm pretty sure I'm big living that. Like, not even close. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. I'm just curious. How long does gravity work? Gravity is for two more turns. 
Very in. Now here, I'm just gonna do a reflect just for the just to see. Like, does it let me? All right, it does once he's out. So I'm gonna send away from just for the super safe plays, and then we're gonna iron head him, and that should be it. Another game where I just absolutely wiped a fella, and I didn't have a single thunder wave miss. So I'm talking about. Doesn't thunder wave have 90% accuracy? You can miss because when I do thunder wave on showdown, it misses all the time. And that double bulk up iron head will finish off Glacier on another game victory. I know in my last video or the beginning of this video, I don't know. I said I was going to do one video at a, or one match at a time. Both of these matches were kind of quick. So I'm going to look to see how much time it would be if I just put both of these matches in one video. If it's too long, I'm going to separate it into two videos like I said I was going to. But if it's really quick, then I will I'll just put them together. So, but otherwise, thank you guys for stopping by. Check the description below always for the Twitters, the Instagrams for me and Running on Empty, and the Discord for Running on Empty. Anyone can join. Anyone can join the Discord. There's a lot going on in there. We have, like, a lot more going on. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me check right now. We are currently... So we have one, two... We have 10 people online right now and 34 offline. So we have 44 people strong in this Discord right now. Pretty sweet. So we're going. Feel free to join. It's in the description below along with the Running on Empty merch shop. Feel free to stop by there. See you guys all later. Thanks for stopping by.